Good evening, HKW Universe. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get it all out of your system. Boo, boo, boo. I could care less. In case you hadn't heard right yet, uh, you know, let's get this up on the big screen right now for everybody to see it. Apparently, Richard G. Mayer had a little accident just prior to the show starting. So, since Mr. Mayor won't be able to come out here and grace all of you with his presence... I thought that I would take it upon myself to come out here and to be the voice of reason, to be the voice of logic, the voice of understanding in this crazy, crazy world. I know everybody's asking the same question. Why, 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 Archangel? Why? Why, Aaron? Why? What you should be asking is why you cheer for guys like Evan Jones. Why do you cheer for guys like Xander Shaw? Why do you cheer for guys like Christopher? chaos Christopher chaos turned his back on me Evan Jones tried to end my career Xander Shaw did nothing but try and ride on my coattails on Aaron's coattails and you cheer for them I pity each and every one of you. But tonight, tonight's a special night. Because apparently, Xander Shaw and Evan Jones didn't get a wake up call and missed their flight. So they're not here. And Christopher Chaos, Christopher Chaos is so upset about the fact that Tracy would rather win championships wearing an untouchable t shirt that he couldn't be here tonight. Your world heavyweight champion is not here tonight. But who is? That's right. Your true hero. The Archangel. Brian Me. Now, all of you go ahead and sit back and enjoy the rest of the show we have some incredible action set tonight and as for me I think I'm gonna make my way to the commentary booth as the voice of reason <laughs>
<laughs> Untouchables in the booth. Untouchables on their way out to the ring. We got internet championship action. And there's my favorite clown. I don't even like clowns. But he is... He's the best clown we got here in the HKW. He is Tristan. And he is with the Untouchables. And Tristan's going to face off. I mean, it doesn't really matter. He's going to beat him. But, um... Jeff Lawless. Jeff Lawless kind of come out here to face Tristan. And of course, Jeff uh, going to be involved in a match against um, Randy Pride. Because uh, Jeff said some pretty not cool things. And, uh, but, you know, Jeff speaks his mind. Jeff speaks his mind, and that is an American value. You see the True American Values t-shirt right there that Jeff is wearing, and and Jeff is all about his uh, supposed American values. Oh! No clowning around. My main man Tristan taking it right to Jeff. The winner of this is going to move on in the Internet Championship Tournament. And of course, Cameron hanging out, out, hanging out outside. Giving Tristan pointers and encouragement like the Untouchables do. True brotherhood here in the Untouchables. We don't, we're not like, we're not like, uh, fair weather friends that only show up when it's convenient for them and go off and just abscond with what is rightfully mine. Of course, I mean the HKW championship and Chris, I hope you're listening because that title belongs to me. I should have never lost it. Evan Jones attacked me in a way that, quite honestly, any of you fans that cheer for Evan Jones should be absolutely ashamed of yourselves. Yeah. Good job, Tristan. And this right here, Tristan just demolishing Jeff Lawless is exactly why the Untouchables are going to win this tournament. I mean, we've all, like, just tonight, we're going to have Jeff Lawless go down to Tristan. A little bit later, we're going to have Dylan beating up on the wannabe Untouchable, the Apocalypse. And I know there's been a lot of questions about whether or not the Apocalypse is with us here in, in the Untouchables. And let me just make this clear. Hell no. And let me tell you why. The Untouchables, Apocalypse's little uh, version of the Untouchables was created for what reason? To come after me. Okay? But what did I do? I flipped the script. Because let's face it, guys like Evan Jones... They never gave anyone else on the Untouchables an opportunity. It's not like Cameron ever got an opportunity at the HKW World Heavyweight Championship, even though he's a multi-time tag team champion, multi-time internet champion. And that's, that's just the kind of selfish person that Evan Jones is. And you know what else Evan Jones is? <laughs> not here. That's right. Evan Jones is not in the building. So boo-hoo.
I can't believe Evan Jones would even have the nerve to say that I'm a traitor. Um, Evan, I'm running around with all your friends. Shouldn't we be friends? Oh, wait, you turned your back on them. You turned your back on them long before Cameron blasted you. Okay? As a matter of fact, your uh, your Fairweather friends now, they should be watching out for the time you turn your back on them. Because you know it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time before Chris isn't there for you, Evan. It's only a matter of time before Evan turns his back on you, Chris. And both of you, and both of you, I hope you're listening, because both of you are only sitting there helping Xander Shaw, who can't do anything for himself. Way to go, Tristan. What a DDT there by Tristan and a cover on the American-made badass Jeff Lawless who gets the shoulder up just barely. And that looked like a pretty slow count by these HKW officials. Just pointing it out. Just the constant injustice you're forced to to deal with if you're an untouchable. But we can. We can deal with it because we are the true talent here in the HKW. I mean, look how easily, look how easily Jeff Lawless is distracted by Cameron. And look where it got him. Look where it got him. Absolutely. And now Tristan with that look in his eye, and I'm sure he's got a whoopee cushion slam all set for Jeff Lawless. Boom, right in the middle of the ring. And you can take that one to the bank. That's a three count. What? This referee needs his eyes checked. This is ridiculous. It is absolutely unfair to Tristan to have to put up with these biased referees. He's won this match like three or four times over. Jeff, Jeff would be better off just laying down and taking the pinfall. It would save him a beating like the one that Tristan is unleashing right now on Jeff Lawless. Just another reason why Tristan is a true untouchable. Unlike guys like Evan Jones or the Apocalypse. And the DDT, and looks like both of these guys are pretty much out. Tristan Cole. All right, we're back. These two still going at it. And look at the ring awareness of Tristan. Rolling out of the ring. He knows exactly what he's doing. Slowing the pace down. Keeping things at his own pace. Listening to his corner man, Cameron. And look at Jeff. Look how Jeff just attacked the referee. Tristan coming off the top rope, laying out Jeff Lawless. You know, I would say that, uh, I would say that every little kid should be uh, taking a look right here at the clinic being put on 
by the Dark Clown Prince Tristan. He is absolutely incredible. Ten times more of a man than a guy like Xander Shaw could ever be. And just look at how he leaps over the top rope, smearing Jeff Lawless across the mat. I mean, this match has been pretty much all Tristan because, let's face it, Untouchables just better than everybody else. One, two, three. And not even that slow ref can take away this victory from the dark clown prince himself, Tristan. It looks like Jeff is going to be regulated to just facing Randy Pride at Heat Wave this Sunday. And that's just for the best for Jeff Lawless because he really had no chance in this internet championship tournament anyways. We know that it's all untouchables. You fans at home, whether you want to admit it to yourselves or not, know that this tournament is all about the untouchables. As a matter of fact, everything in HKW is about the untouchables. And Cameron and I will prove that as well inside the Elimination Chamber this Sunday at Heat Wave. But in the meantime, congratulations, Tristan. Oh, uh-oh. Looks like Tristan might not be done. Oh, he's got a chair. And Tristan's just gonna attack Jeff Lawless for the fun of it. And you know why? Because he thinks it's funny. And you know what? I kind of think it's funny too. Nice job, Tristan. And you know, Jeff Lawless made a fatal mistake in this matchup. And that fatal mistake is just not being an untouchable. I hope you enjoyed that clip. I know that was my favorite part of last week's episode. Finally getting to kick Evan Jones in the gut. And deliver the broken wings. And now it's time for you all to sit back and enjoy some more untouchable action. As Cameron escorts the Guardian Aaron Air Bronson to the ring and I want to address something real quick you know there was a lot of talk about whether or not Aaron and Cameron would be able to get along here in this environment being back in black being untouchables again after Cameron's attack on Aaron. You know, I think it's absolutely ridiculous that any of you can imply that we as adults couldn't get over a silly little spat like that. You know, I I tried to get over what uh, Chris did to me. I tried to I tried to give him the opportunity to just 
you know, stay out of my way. But like always, Christopher Chaos, you had to stick your nose where it didn't belong. Uh, now we've got the dancing jabronis coming out to the ring. Um, I guess, you know, congratulations to the Boom Squad on not breaking up, despite the fact that a couple of weeks ago, these two guys were at each other's throats trying to progress in this tournament, and only one of them could, and that, of course, was Ray Hole, who just finds himself digging himself into a hole tonight against the Untouchables' Aaron Air Bronson. You know, I've actually heard talk in the back that the Boom Squad deserves a tag team title shot against a Perfect Storm. And I have to say, I think that's absolutely ridiculous. Considering the way a Perfect Storm won the championships, pretty much just stealing them from Aaron and I, thanks to Xander Shaw. And look at the quickness of Aaron Air Bronson. You know, guy like Ray, twice Aaron's size. Some would say three, four, or five times Aaron's size. But that's the, that's probably mostly fat. Aaron, on the other hand, a lean, mean fighting machine. Former tag team champion, and of course, a member of the greatest faction of all time, the Untouchables. Come on, Aaron. And you see, you see Drew out there. Drew just feeding Ray moves. Just absolutely, you know, this, this isn't this isn't even fair to Aaron. Aaron, Aaron should get a whole a whole new match, and Drew should be stricken from ringside. Cameron, on the other hand, Cameron is doing exactly what he should do out there as a corner man. Making sure that uh, that everything goes in the way of the untouchables. And did you see that? Did you see how how Ray just knocked heads with Cameron? I mean, that's just that's just not right. That uh, a competitor in the ring would attack a guy at ringside while his while his corner man is just you know pretty much cheating out here on behalf of this boom squad another fan favorite team by a bunch of ignorant fans here in the HKW who wouldn't know talent if it bit him in the butt Aaron looking to slap the face paint right off Ray. And Ray not as afraid to use his size advantage at all. But I have a feeling I have a feeling Aaron Bronson might have some tricks up his sleeve as well. I know Aaron's been practicing a new move and I'm just waiting for him to debut it. He said he's going to do it here tonight. Well, there's the inverted pile driver. Aaron must be teasing me. Definitely not for you fans who have never never appreciated 
the amazing works of Mr. Air Bronson. I remember the first time I got in the ring with Air Bronson. He impressed me so much and was so humble in in defeat. A true a true man's man and a role model for all the children out there. And pinning Ray's shoulders to the mat. You know, I've said it before, I'll say it again. This referee clearly biased against the untouchables. Probably being paid off. Probably being paid off by someone like Evan Jones. Who we know will go to any lengths to cheat. And I have no doubt, folks, that Evan Jones is going to try and cheat me out of my win at the Elimination Chamber. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to let that happen. And again, inverted pile driver by Aaron Air Bronson. And I'm so proud of my little buddy in the ring, dominating one half of a wannabe tag team. And that's what these guys are. Make no mistake about it. The Boom Squad could never hold a candle to the Guardians and the tag team that we are. And the roll up by Bronson. And that is going to do it. I thought Ray Hole would put up more of a fight, but clearly he didn't have it in him. Air Bronson, a superior athlete. And I guess we're going to have to wait to see that new finisher get debuted at HKW Heat Wave. When Aaron Air Bronson moves on in the Internet Championship Tournament. It has been a good night tonight, folks. Wins for Tristan, a win for Aaron. A little bit later tonight, Dylan going to pin Apocalypse shoulders to the mat or make him tap out with a tequila sunrise. And just like I've said, it's all about the plan. It's all about the plan. The untouchable plan. Great job, Aaron Air Bronson. Representing the Guardians here. Oh, it looks like Aaron's not done with Ray either. And good for him. You know, I really expected more out of Ray here tonight than to just pansy out against my boy, Aaron Air Bronson. I mean... I know you fans aren't worth much, but you did pay the price of admission, so shouldn't you get to see something, something worthwhile? God knows it wouldn't be Ray Hole, but Aaron Air Bronson is now going to take his opportunity to go airborne and raining down hellfire onto Ray Hole. And Aaron's going to prove to Ray and everybody else right here why we are untouchable. We are unstoppable. We are unbeatable. There isn't a person in the back 
that can do anything to stop what we have started here in the HKW. Great job, Aaron. Third match of the night. And, um, you know, personally, I don't really care too much about this match because if there's no untouchables in it, let's face it, it's not really an important match. But the Apocalypse Champion, Sid, heading on out here. energetic gothic skeleton that he is you know I gotta say this kid you know give credit where credit's due this kid has been pretty impressive big wins you know already the victory over Jason um, already capturing HKW gold he has not really been here that long really not a lot known about the man known as Sid. So, uh, I just know that he doesn't hang out with us in the Untouchables, so whatever. And here's a guy that I honestly, uh, you know what? I'm gonna pick, uh, I'm gonna pick Sid. I'm gonna choose to cheer for Sid in this match. Mainly because if you were ever a member of a scumbag group like Purity, um, then I. I detest you. So, whatever. It's Adam Duke. You know, I don't even know how many brains Adam Duke has between his ears. He was willing to follow someone like Cliff. And I gotta say, I can't wait for this Sunday at Heat Wave when Cliff gets locked inside that chamber with me. And that's one thing, that, that's another thing that I think each of, uh, each of my opponents would do good to remember here is they're locked inside that chamber with me. They're locked inside that chamber with Cameron. They're locked inside that chamber with Untouchables. And there is no way out. There's no escape for you. And quite the brilliant move there by Sid. Flipping out and kicking Adam Duke in the face. Maybe Sid wants to join the Untouchables. Ah, uh, no. No, I'm sorry. We are actually an elite organization. Um, we don't, we don't do face-painted freaks, other than Tristan. We have a one face-painted freak. Limp. And Sid crashing and burning with the 450 splash there. You might want to look where he's going. Oh, crash landing a second time. Adam Duke moving out of the way. Now the Apocalypse Champion might be in trouble. Quite the DDT by Sid, laying out Adam Duke here. And Sid, pulling out all the stops against Duke, 
flying off that top rope and dropping Duke on the floor on the outside. What an incredible move by the Apocalypse Champion. I gotta give this kid some credit. He is uh, he has been impressing me here in this matchup. And let me tell you about somebody else who impresses me quite a bit. Tracy Winters. You know, here's a lady who from day one here in the HKW has found herself screwed out of chance, chance after chance for the HKW Women's Championship. And when you have a husband who is the current HKW World Heavyweight Champion, a former internet champion, you know, you use that clout to give opportunities to the people you care about. And I know what I'm talking about here. You know, I made sure that that April and Devin have both had opportunities to earn HKW Women's Championship matches. That's the kind of thing you do when your spouse has dreams. And I think it's absolutely terrible that Chris wouldn't celebrate the fact that Tracy is wearing an Untouchables t-shirt and is going to be the first woman ever to beat Gwendolyn Tents. I mean, doesn't that doesn't that mean something to you, Chris? I mean, your wife put on an Untouchables shirt and she's about to make history. She's about to make history as the first woman ever to beat Gwendolyn Tents. And I I know that Tracy knows this, but I'm very proud of her. And so is every single member of the Untouchables locker room. And while we definitely uh, plan on bringing home the Internet Championship and the HKW Championship, the one we're really going to celebrate is the HKW Women's Championship coming to the Untouchables, coming to Tracy, being wrapped around her waist, draped over her shoulder, where it rightfully should be. Shooting star press by Sid. And that'll do it. Sid going to move on in the Internet Championship Tournament, which means that at HKW Heatwave, Sid is going to have to face off against Tristan. So... Sorry about your luck, Sid. Congratulations on a win here tonight. But unfortunately, a win here tonight just sets you up to be the biggest loser at Heat Wave. Because you've got to face an untouchable. Take a look at this shooting star press, though. The way that Sid twisted in the air and that I didn't even know was humanly possible. I thought the laws of physics would not allow for that, but he did pull it off. So good for him. Congratulations to Sid. He didn't even smear his, his, his mascara. So, you know, that's great for him.
All right, so time to finish off our wonderful, untouchable night. An absolutely wonderful night for the Untouchables, and that is going to continue because tonight, Dylan Bradford is going to go one on one with the Pacoy here. Oh. Well, Apocalypse definitely likes this fire. But tonight he's about to get burned by the Untouchables. The group, at one point, he helped create in an attempt to destroy me. But it looks like my brother's plan has backfired indeed. It's just like I said, I would take everything from you, Apocalyte. Look where I'm sitting. I got the Untouchables t-shirt. I've got all your old boys backing me up and look where you are. Fighting for a chance to go after the internet championship while I'm in the main event the HKW World Heavyweight Championship this Sunday at HKW Heat Week. And the sad part about it is Apocalypse isn't even going to make it to Heat Wave. Because tonight he's going to get his ass beat by Dylan Bradford. Come on, Dylan. Go after him. All right, well, Dylan, a little slow to get started, but that's okay. There we go. Nice move, Dylan. Oh, I, I thought he was going to go for my broken wings there. But instead, Dylan with a backbreaker to the Apocalypse. And then dropping Apocalypse right back down on his head. Dylan Bradford just so talented. Look at him going right after Apocalypse there. And Apocalypse cowardly running away from Cameron Logan Lion Hunter, who I have no doubt would win a singles contest between those two. As a matter of fact, I think uh, Apocalypse could bring most of his old purity friends, and Cameron could probably take all of them because. Let's face it, Untouchables, as I have tried to make clear to all of you, are just better than the rest. Look at the way Dylan has been able to pop back up through this whole match. Going right after Apocalypse. A former, a former mentor who didn't have the time for the Untouchables, who turned his back on the Untouchables in order to join Purity. Good job, Cameron. Cameron distracting the Apocalypse. And Apocalypse taking his eye off the ball there.
Ref. Hey, ref. His feet are on the ropes. His feet were on the ropes. Look at Apocalypse trying to, to get the easy victory here. And nice move there by Dylan Bradford using the opportunity granted to him against the Apocalypse. Great job, Dylan. Great job. Apocalypse running away from Dylan like an absolute coward. And now the referee is down. And Dylan's going to take the opportunity to drop Apocalypse right on his head. Amazing move by Dylan. And Apocalypse should be disqualified. I don't care if he was trying to go after Dylan or not. You hit a referee. It is just uncalled for. And I personally, folks, just don't stand for that. I mean... You want to use a chair in a match? Fine. It's not like Apocalypse hasn't had the opportunity to use a steel chair at any point throughout this match that he's wanted to. Look at him bouncing Dylan's head off the ring post, using that as a weapon. So I don't want to hear any complaining about the fact that Dylan was using a steel chair just a few moments ago. That's Dylan's prerogative. And since Dylan is the person who you really should all be cheering for in this match, even though I know at home most of you are cheering for my stupid brother, And that, that is that triple six move that I said should be banned many times. Great job, Cameron. What? No, ref. And the referee ejecting Cameron. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is what I've been talking about all night, folks. The untouchables just being screwed over by this referee's blatant favoritism. I'm pretty sure he, uh, he low blowed him there, ref. I'm pretty sure Apocalypse cheated. If Cameron was still out there, he would have told you. He would have told you that Apocalypse cheating. He would have been able to point out the pulling of the hair and the raking of the eyes. And that count, super slow, allowing Apocalypse to, to kick out and just once again cheat the Untouchables out of what should be a, a relatively easy victory against a relatively benign opponent. Ah, the Tequila Sunrise being clocked in now by a true... God Among Men, Dylan Bradford. And now Dylan gonna stack Apocalypse on that top rope. And why shouldn't I be surprised? Apocalypse using those knees of his as a weapon. Anything he can use as a weapon, he will use as a weapon because 
that's just how he is. He's a, he's a cheating weapon user. And look at Dylan. The precision of Dylan Bradford. And somehow, Apocalypse was able to kick out. And Dylan. Oh. Another apocalypse side slam there by the cheater that is my brother, the Apocalyte. And what is this? Wow. I have never seen a triple six like that, I have to say. I... Come on, Dylan. Come on, Dylan. You can do it, buddy. And Dylan Bradford kicking out after the apocalypse side slam and after the triple six. Apparently the middle turnbuckle wasn't high enough for Apocalypse. Dylan crawling out of the way. So much ring awareness by Dylan. Just another reason why the Untouchables are just that, untouchable. No. No! This isn't fair. This isn't right. That referee cheated Dylan out of a win here tonight, folks. All right, all right. Now I have, I have heard that Evan Jones has made his way into the building. I already know Xander Shaw is here, but Evan, as promised, I am telling right now, Cameron. Tristan, Dylan, Aaron. I want this to be a one-on-one -on -one fight. Evan, get your ass out here and get what's coming to you. <laughs> 